Well, if you live in Wisconsin, you know how to make the, make the most of a sunny day and good weather. So today, how to think green while you work on your landscaping or your next home improvement project. That's right. And to see what's on trend, you can visit the Realtors Home and Garden Show at the Wisconsin Expo Center. Eric Wishar is the Weisher is the president of Breckenridge Landscape, and Eric Krasinski is with Vertical Works Incorporated. Hey guys. Yeah, How's it going ladies? Thanks Good. Good. Here. So the big news this year is you're going to be giving away a car, or do you do that every year? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this is just this year thing. It was a new idea that the uh, people that run the garden show had. They decided, you know what, let's create an entire house and space and backyard, and then why not just give away a car just for fun? That's so cool. which car is it the Ford Fiesta that it you're is. giving away? So people can come and see it. Right. It's there on display. So we, um, you know, Eric and his team brought in this house, this tiny house. We created an entire landscape around it uh, with a driveway and everything else. And then it's called we the driveway drive driveway drive away giveaway exactly yes. you so you can come down the car sitting right there you can open sit inside it just like you would at a car dealership so how do people enter to win the car is it one of those you have to be there put your name in or how does it work so there's um, you go down and there's a booth right next to our display and you take a quick survey uh, you fill in your information and then they're gonna do a drawing every day so there's gonna be seven okay. people chosen uh, and then oh. at the end of the show on Saturday you'll come down you'll be invited to come down uh, and you'll be able to choose a key. There'll be seven keys. Oh, that's fine. And if your key starts the car, you can drive right out. No, you can't drive right out. <laughs> but, you can, but you'll get the car. You can sign the papers, pay the taxes, and then right. drive right out, right? right? right. Oh, that's, cool. that's awesome, though. Yeah. How fun is that? So a part of this, also, the, the mm -hmm. driveway display, uh, display is also the tiny homes. Oh, Correct? Yeah. You have a it's, tiny home in there. Now tell us all about that. It's all wrapped together, and it looks absolutely amazing. So Eric and his team did a great job, and we brought that in there and spent the beginning of the week getting that all together. And uh, this is Utopian Villa's very first tiny house. So this is our Denali model. And this unit we launched January 5th there right in our Oak Creek factory. There it is. And uh, we just wanted to get into this tiny house market. It's so big right now. The movement's mm -hmm. been going on for about two years. And, of course, everybody's seen it on HGTV yeah. and DIY. You know, this is a realistic tiny house to where people are seriously considering to downsize and do something that's so simplistic and forget about all that extra clutter and mm -hmm. extra square footage that you're just not using anyway. How many square feet are we talking? You. Yeah. 400 square down, feet. 400 square feet. That, yeah. yeah, it forces you to downsize. Yeah. You have to get rid of all the yeah. clutter, all the junk, exactly. and you really need to be simplistic. Why are these so sustainable? They're eco-friendly. What is it? Is it because you're using less um, resources to operate this kind of home? Or what, what's the reasoning behind it? You know, the biggest difference between how we build our tiny houses, mm -hmm. and there's so many other manufacturers or people that are building tiny houses, is we've been building actual full-size homes for 30 years now. Mm -hmm. So we did exactly what we've been doing in our custom modular homes and we put it into 400 square feet but the developing the architecture the designing it's much harder when you only are working with 400 square feet right. instead of our typical 4,000 but you're you saying have to make every it nice. amenity from the big houses exactly. is in the little house yep so what where are you saving money is it on the heating bill or on the water bill sure so our houses are all built extremely efficient, completely mm -hmm. four seasons, you know, as far as eco-friendly, there's so many different things that you can do with tiny houses that aren't as expensive as doing it to a full-size home. So our unit, especially when it comes to energy, when it comes to a mortgage, you're only taking a 10 mm -hmm. to 15 year loan out for a uh, small tiny house rather than a 30 year loan. Yeah, there's no property tax on the unit because it's not a permanent dwelling. And there's a lot of other advantages of not having the excavation cost, the foundation cost, the permits. Why isn't it a permanent There's dwelling? No it's on taxes? wheels, guys. It moves <laughs> right down Stop the road. It. Yep. It's like a motor home. <laughs> it, just how you see it, minus the motor, it's a house on wheels, literally. So you so can will, move it. Will it anywhere? shift? I mean, it, it. We hook it up to a toter semi, and it pulls right down the road. How you see it, we bring it no into your lot. Way. We'll jack it up, set it up on piers, skirt it, and it looks like a house. Wow. Yep. Okay, so another thing that you guys are doing, this is just fascinates me, and I love it. I lived in a 550-square-foot apartment once, and yep. I, I had no problem with it. I mean, you, you adapt to the space, and mm -hmm. you do all that. Let's talk about um, green landscaping real quick before uh, we move on, because I want to know what some of the trends are. I remember uh, years ago, it was like more just mulch instead of lawn and things like that. What, what are some of the trends right now? So two of the biggest things right now are permeable pavers okay. and LED lighting. What is permeable yeah. pavers? So permeable pavers are, they're just like any other pavers, brick pavers that you'd put in your driveway, your patio, your walkway. But what they do is they allow the water to infiltrate through the joints and return that water back to the groundwater. Is that what we're seeing oh. here? 
Um, exactly. Okay. So you've got, you know, that picture there, you've got a water fountain and a yeah. uh, fire pit combination that we did. Um, and what happens is that water just filters right through the pavers. And what's nice is that you eliminate stormwater runoff. So, you know, you eliminate ice in the wintertime. Um, yeah. And it's good for the environment. You're putting that water back right. into the ground. Okay, mm -hmm. there's just no grout in between like you usually have. And the exactly. LED yeah. lighting is important because of the heat, right? It's not heating the ground. It's, it's actually the energy savings because LED bulbs, they take so little energy to light. Um, and now one of the features that we have at the show this year is an LED lighting system that allows you to completely control every individual light, including the color, the intensity. You can set up themes like Valentine's Day from your smartphone. Just hit a button and everything turns pink and red. So Aww. cool. Here's where you can go and see everything for yourself. It's at, going on now through Saturday at the Wisconsin um, Center. It's the Realtor's Home and garden show. You can get $2 off admission if you go to the website. It's mkehgs.com or call for more information 414-443-2109. I gotta go see this little house on wheels and all the updated uh, landscaping. So cool. Thanks for wheels. being here, you guys. Oh, thanks for having us, guys. Thanks, guys. Love Interesting. It.